sorry to start the vlog in such a weird way, but I'm on airport standby. So we are gonna go over to our gate and we are working a two day trip. I will talk to you when we get on the plane. When the night comes crawling And I'm all alone I head for the highway, baby To please my restless bone My restless bone Okay, oh my goodness. Um, I'm sorry to start the vlog off like that with you guys. I did not expect to get used. And I was like, just of my airport standby. And then all of a sudden they called me three hours in and gave me a trip. Okay, let's take a look at the room and I'll, t I'll, I'll finish the story. <laughs> okay, look how cute this is. This would make such a cute studio. I love this. We have the big old counter space, hello. And then we come on out. Look at this. Wow, oh, oh, there are two beds. I didn't see that one coming, you guys. Okay, and here is our lovely rainy view. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I had to get on my tippy toes for this one. This closet's a little bit, a little bit higher than I'm used to it being, but we'll make it work. All right, y'all, we got, we got the fit on. <laughs> okay, we love a natural light queen. So basically what ended up happening, I did not think I was gonna be used because the last two airport standbys I've done, I did not get used, which that was dumb of me to think. But I was like, oh girl, you're not gonna be used, whatever. So I was just hanging out at the airport, I was working on some things, and all of a sudden I get a call from Cruise Scheduling and they're just like, we are sending you to Jacksonville, we have a trip for you, it's gonna be two days. Um, and they didn't tell me too much, they were just like, your position two, go over to A28. So I was like, okay, great. So I really didn't know what was going on, I didn't know how long the layover was, I didn't know how many legs I was gonna be working, I didn't know any of that stuff. So once I got to the gate, I talked to the crew and they basically said one of the flight attendants got off the trip, so I got on. So they've already been flying, but my trip in my own little sequence was today. Okay, so here's how my trip is going. So today is day one and I just did one flight from Dallas to Jacksonville. And then we have almost a 14 hour layover. And then tomorrow I just do one flight and it's Jacksonville back to Dallas. And then I'm home by 925. So that's super exciting, like not a bad gig. Not upset about it. And then I'll go back on call the next day and I'll be good for just a one day. Okay, so right now it's 5.15, 16. <laughs> Um, all day long, I've only had a salad, so I'm super hungry. I didn't pack my food, because sometimes it can be really tricky on standby, because you just don't know how many days you're gonna be gone or not gone, so I didn't bother with it this time. So let's go ahead and get on DoorDash. Okay, so I'm checking out some of the restaurants. This one looks really good. Look who it is. It's my, it's my <laughs> wife, my second husband painting her cabinet. The other woman. <laughs> I've been here for like a week at this point. Allie and I talk every day, y'all know this, like every day rain or shine we're talking. So we had to catch up because she called me when I was about to actually work the flight over here. But my food just arrived, so I'm gonna whip everything out. So this is gonna be lunch and dinner. Don't judge the amount of food. Your girl is hungry. <laughs> oh no, you guys, the soup busted in the bag. So I had to do a little bit of a cleanup deal. Um, the flavor is good from what I can taste, but I just turned it upside down. I didn't know what to do. But I ended up getting chicken and some veggies with white rice. And then it came with um, white sauce. I also got eel sauce and spicy mayo. And I got a rainbow roll. And then I got spring rolls and they're kind of covered in soup, but I think they'll be all right. So this is lunch and dinner and I am so hungry. So I'm not a picky eater, but this food is just really, not good. <laughs> I feel so guilty saying that. Like the millennial in me is like, oh no, don't say it tastes bad, but it's really, really, really not good. <laughs> so I ended up going downstairs and I picked up a Greek yogurt as well as a protein bar. This generally is not the kind of protein bar I eat because there's not that much protein in it. There's only 12 grams of protein in it, but beggars can't be choosers. 
So I'm having this and I also did not learn my lesson. As you can see here, I am brewing some coffee in the room because apparently the last trip wasn't enough of a reminder not to do this again. But this is actually different though. So this is a different kind of coffee. So maybe this will be better than Pike Place. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. I stand by you when you're falling. When the river is calling. Look how dark it is. It's making me so tired just seeing all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these wipes. This brand is sold at Target and they sent me like a care package of their stuff. These are biodegradable and cruelty free. So I'm hoping I like them. Mm, they smell good. They smell really good. So it's working. I don't know if they work as well as my Neutrogena wipes. Oh, here we go. The eyeliner is always the real test. I said I love you forever. We can make it together. Okay, I'm not mad at them. It definitely took a lot of my makeup off. Very, very, very soft. So, okay, I'm, I'm not mad at that. I'm gonna go ahead and run through my skincare routine now. <laughs> so if you're curious about my skincare routine right now and like what stuff I've been using. I've been trying some random stuff as well, but just like the main products I've really been using. Go check out my last video because I like walked y'all through all this stuff. What goes up, busting down. There's lots of friendly faces all around. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then start putting all my stuff on the chargers. Tomorrow, the shuttle time is Tomorrow the shuttle time is 6.20. All right, I got my tablet on the charger and my watch. So I accidentally left my tablet on my last flight on my last trip. So I had to report it missing and go pick up a new one. But I'm pretty sure it's all taken care of because the company has like a whole protocol and stuff when like stuff like that happens and they already had it located and stuff by the time I was on the phone with them. So, oh, look at that glow. But yeah, so like I was saying earlier, we have a 6.20 shuttle time, which means it's a 5.20 wake up right now. It is 9.10, so I'm probably going to start winding down a little bit, getting into bed, and I guess I will see you guys bright and early. <laughs> Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. So I am already, I have my stuff packed up already over there and already did a room check. I did forget my curling stuff, so we're just gonna have a little bit slept in hair. I don't think anybody will notice. Again, it's just one flight today, so we are going from Jacksonville to Dallas, and we are done. Hopefully, there will be coffee at the airport. <laughs> We just stopped and got a skinny vanilla latte from Starbucks. I'm about to do my pre-checks, get everything ready, and I will see you guys in Dallas. In the house, turn towards the door, and all the man's jaws drop to the floor. It's nothing to me, it's just how I roll. Okay, so I think we are all done. Right now it is 10 a.m., so I just got to my car, obviously, so we're gonna go ahead and head home and see the puppies, and Chip should be there. So I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so I just got home and the puppies are so sleepy and I think I'm about to do the same. Go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Say bye, Fandy.